Uh, first of all, Girl with the Dragon Tattoo. Yeah. A uh, hugely successful uh, series. Books, yes. Yeah. Uh, God, yes. What was the movie? Are you done your part? No, I've got to go back to Sweden in uh, May and finish playing my... I play the, the patriarch of the family. Uh, it's a terrific role, and, and I'm working for that wonderful director, David uh, Fincher, Fincher right? yeah, who's surely going to win for uh, The Social Network. Uh, yeah, is this first time? Have you met him before this project? No, came I up? never had, no, but I find him absolutely extraordinary as a director. He's just wonderful, and I loved that movie, because I, particularly because when I saw it, I wasn't aware that it had been directed at all. Mm -hmm. And that's surely the highest compliment you can give a director. Do you find that because you, you, you have the history that you have and you have the career that you've had, that some directors don't direct you the way that you'd want to be, and they just have you come out and do your thing? Yeah, most, most people let, have you come out and do your thing, and sometimes you're dying for help, <laughs> but then obviously they're not going to give it to you. <laughs> so you have to learn how to direct yourself. And that was a long time ago. You, you have to. And there, there are very few David Finches in the world, you know. You're going to be like, he's wonderful. He can, he does too many takes, but he's wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> All right, anthropology. William Shatner. What's the one thing about him that he wouldn't want you to tell us? How an extraordinary fellow. Um, <laughs> the one thing no, that he, he wouldn't want it. To... You were teenagers when you did CBC Radio. Yeah, together. we did. We worked uh, not always together, but we were working in the French and English network. I was playing both in French and English. Did he, did he upstage you once when well, you were sick? Yes, uh, it was in 20, 56, Michael Langham's production of Henry V. And I suddenly got, oh God, I got this awful pain in my tummy. And I thought, Christ, it's syphilis. <laughs> Why, why did you think syphilis? Why didn't you think food poisoning? Don't ask me that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and I, and I, but it wasn't. It, was, it wasn't, was it? <laughs> so I went to the hospital and they filled me with morphine. It was a kidney stone that had to be removed. And mm -hmm. God, they're painful. Unbelievable. So I, but halfway through... <laughs> <laughs> the evening, I came out of the morphine stuff, and I st started wandering down the corridors of the hospital. And the nurse stopped me and said, where do you think you're going? I said, I'm got a, I've got a performance tonight. <laughs> and she said, no, you haven't. You're going right back to your little bed. <laughs> and, she, and she took me back to bed, and I was co convinced I was going to do it. Yeah. But Bill Shatner was my understudy, so he went on as Henry V, and what he did was he, he didn't do what I did at all. Mm -hmm. When I stood up to make a speech, he would sit down and do his speech. He did the opposite of you. He did the opposite of everything I did, and I knew that son of a was going to be a star. <laughs>